If you like using 3D Studio Max to create your game geometry, you'll appreciate this video. We've asked the guys from cgcookie.com to showcase how to set up the scale in 3D Studio Max so that your assets fit the FPS control plugin for the Unity game engine exactly. Now, CG Cookie has some of the best game art tutorials in the industry, so we're honored they're helping us out. Enjoy. Hey everyone, my name is Wes Burke from CGCookie.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export assets from 3D Studio Max over to Unity to use within our FPS control scene. But before we dive into the asset in 3D Studio Max, let's head over to Unity to figure out our scene scale. So here we are in Unity, and what I've done is loaded the Shellshock demo. And I'm just going to look at this doorway here to find out our scene scale. I'm also using a free distant measuring tool from Wes McDermott. This distance tool is available in the asset store for free and it helps measure distances uh, on your assets. So if we're looking at this doorway, it is 2.34 units tall. So that's roughly about two and a half or two and a third meters tall as well. So to give a quick visual reference of what we're looking at, let me go ahead and create three basic cubes from Unity. And a Unity cube by default is one by one by one. So it's one Unity unit by one Unity unit. Hit Control D. Let's bring these up. And this is just to show you the reference of you know, how tall or wide the store is, will be. So there we go. So we can see our doorway is about two and one third uni cubes tall. Or if we look at our distance tool again, it's about 2.3 units tall. So let's go ahead and get rid of these cubes. And now that we know the scene scale here, we're going to take this measurement over into 3D Studio Max. So here we are in 3D Studio Max. We have our low poly fire hydrant asset. And this is the asset that we want to get over to FPS control. Now, what I'm working here with is default uh, generic 3D Studio Max units. And I'll go ahead and draw out a tape measure at that length. So I'll go ahead and just pull this up. In the front view, go to modify. And I want to specify a specific length. And there it is, 2.34 is what I would like to specify. Because this is the height, height of our doorway over in the FPS control scene. So we can see this fire hydrant is rather large and we're gonna have to scale this down to have it fit into our FPS control scene. So what we can do is uh, we can scale it down and average fire hydrant size is around two and a half feet or roughly 66 to 75 centimeters. So if this tape measure is 2.34 units tall or roughly two and a, a third meters, we can scale this down to around 0.8 and that'll get us to about 80 centimeters or even 0.7. To help me out, I'm going to load the measuring tool. So I'm clicking on utilities here, clicking on measure, and I'm gonna lock my selection on the fire hydrant. And if you move or scale this, or, or excuse me, to scale this around, you'll see that your number's changing. And what we're really looking at is your Z here. So I'm gonna scale this down to around 0.8. Get it pretty close. So that's 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So now our fire hydrant is around two and a half feet tall. And what I need to do is apply transforms. So and that's I'm going to be under reset X form, reset selected. And what this does is it lets 3D Studio Max know that this is the correct size for this asset. Now, before we export this out, I will note that I do have the pivot point at the base. And I'm going to hit W and center this to 0, 0. Putting your pivot point at the base of your object as you can see, helps with our scaling. So we scale from the bottom, but it also helps with snapping when we get over to our game engine. So if I turn on snap here, we'll see if we go around and see how it snaps to the grid. You want this to happen in your game engine as well. So I'll select this asset and we're gonna go file, export selected, and then we're gonna export this FBX asset into our Unity project. Here I'm using the 2013 FBX exporter. I'm using a scale factor one. I'm actually having it checked to automatic. We're gonna leave that there. Hit okay. And then we'll head back over to Unity. So here in Unity, I see that I have my hydrant asset was exported to our assets folder. I'm going to double check and make sure on the inspector with your asset selected that your import is set to one. Import scale factor. We're gonna drop this guy in here. 
and that looks to be about right. The fire hydrant fits within the scene, it's to scale, and now if you use the same setting in your 3D Studio Max file, every asset you create thereafter will fit nicely into your FPS control. One final thing to make sure that you double check is that the scale of your asset here as well is one to one to one. Hope this helps and have fun with FPS control.